Hey, what's up? This is Andy from MyTechMethods.com back with another video for you today. Today I'll show you how to copy a DVD on a Mac using an awesome application called DVD Fab. So if you click the link on the video right now or click the link in the description below, it will take you straight to the DVD Fab download page and you can click this Apple icon right here since we're doing it on a Mac and then click this download button and you can try out all the DVD Fab applications for free with this one single download. And if you want to register for the full copy, you'll be able to do it at a special discounted price. So go ahead and download that and install it on your Mac. Now when the install is complete, you can start it up from your desktop. So double click on the DVD Fab icon. Now in this video, we'll be using the DVD copy feature. So when the applications list pops up, you can choose DVD copy and you can try it out for free or you can go ahead and register for the full version. So once you've chosen the DVD copy feature, the next thing you want to do is insert your DVD movie into your DVD drive. It'll analyze it real quick and then it will show up in the DVD Fab screen here. Now there are a few different options that you can choose from when you want to copy a DVD on your Mac using DVD Fab. You can choose main movie if you just want to copy the movie itself without any of the DVD menus or scene selections or bonuses or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to use the full disc option so you can copy the DVD on your Mac and then burn the DVD to a DVD-R or DVD-RW so you can essentially have an exact copy of any DVD movie. So you'll choose the full disc option, then go down to the output section here and make sure that this is on DVD-5 so you can copy it to a normal DVD-R or DVD-RW blank disc. If you plan on copying and burning the DVD immediately to a blank disc, you can leave this as the default as your Mac DVD drive. Or if you plan on saving the DVD on your Mac as well as burning it into a blank DVD disc, you can change it to a folder here and then you can save it to your folder and then burn it. But for now, I'll just leave that as the DVD drive so we can copy and burn the DVD movie. Alright, so once our output is set to DVD 5 and our save to option is our DVD drive, we can click start and it will copy the DVD on your Mac. And once the copy is done, we can burn it to a blank DVD disc. Now the reason I like DVD Fab so much when it comes to copying DVDs is because it always stays up to date so we can copy any DVD movie and it compresses the DVD so you can burn it onto a normal DVD-R or DVD-RW disc. It's very fast and it keeps the quality high. There's no drop in the quality of the movie at all. Okay, once the copy is complete, mine only took about 16 minutes, the next thing you want to do is insert a blank DVD into your DVD drive. Now this can be a DVD plus R, DVD minus R, or DVD RW. It doesn't matter what kind of DVD as long as it's a blank DVD. So go ahead and insert the blank DVD in your DVD drive now. And it should say detecting writable media. Give it a few seconds and it should automatically recognize your blank DVD and it will start the burning process and it will burn the DVD movie that you just copied onto that blank DVD. Okay, and when the burn is complete, you'll have an exact duplicate copy of your DVD. And that's how easy it is. You can copy any DVD movie with this application. Movies, TV shows, you name it, it'll copy it. So now you can make perfect backups of all your DVDs so you don't have to worry about losing your precious DVD collection. So make sure you go ahead and register for the full unlimited version of this application. It's definitely worth it. And when you register, you'll be able to get that coupon code and get that special discount. And it doesn't just do DVD copies. It does a ripper as well. So you can copy any DVD movie to a video file and put it on an iPad or iPhone or whatever smartphone or device that you want to put it on. And also has a converter and creator. So go ahead and check out DVD Fab. The link is in the description below. If this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you are notified when I upload more helpful videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. Keep having fun out there. I will talk to you later. Bye.